These trucks stretching to the horizon are only a fraction of the 5.5 million that entered Laredo, Texas in 2022. It's one sign of a broader shift in the global economy, as hundreds of companies around the world move their manufacturing from China to here, in Mexico. And as a border town, that makes Laredo the hub at the center of a trend that's changing global markets. If you are manufacturing in Mexico, you can get that product to the U.S. consumer in under 24 hours in a truck. If you are manufacturing in Asia, it's going to take you two to six weeks. Amid an explosion of trade between Mexico and the rest of North America, here's a look at why Laredo is primed to become one of the world's most important land ports and its role in transforming global supply chains. On this bridge dividing the U.S. from Mexico, trucks often wait hours for a chance to cross into Laredo. In 2022, more than $800 million worth of products, from auto parts to carpets to avocados, passed through the city each day, according to U.S. Census data. The total trade between Mexico and the United States, 40% of that crosses through the port of Laredo. Daniel Covarrubias has spent years studying Laredo's role in international trade at Texas A&M International University. If you see on a map where Laredo is situated between the United States, the biggest market in the world, and Mexico, one of the biggest producing markets in the world, well, it's right in, in the middle of it. Laredo is uniquely positioned to handle all this trade as more and more companies reduce their dependence on Chinese factories and shift production to Mexico. It's part of a larger strategy called nearshoring. It went from a trend of globalization to regionalization. Economists and executives say soaring shipping rates, a trade war between China and the U.S., and geopolitical uncertainty caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine helped fuel the nearshoring trend. Plus, Mexico's free trade deals mean companies that make their products in Mexico can ship them to the rest of North America duty-free. You're seeing Chinese companies, to get out of the tariffs imposed on them, well, they can come and take advantage of the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement if they manufacture in Mexico. In 2022, goods traded between the U.S. and Mexico reached almost $780 billion, an increase of nearly 18 percent from the previous year. While Laredo isn't the only U.S. border town capitalizing on the expansion of nearshoring, it's receiving the most activity. In October 2022, about $27 billion worth of freight moved through Laredo alone. That month, it overtook the trade volume from each of the ocean ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Executives say part of Laredo's appeal is its location. The city is the closest U.S. land port to some of Mexico's largest manufacturing centers, like the Nuevo León region, which includes the massive industrial city of Monterey. From loading up on a truck in Monterey, you have a two and a half hour drive north from Monterey until you hit the Laredo border. Tom Simmons is the vice president of Majestic Realty, a privately owned industrial real estate developer. Over the last 10 years, Majestic has invested in warehouse properties across Laredo. That product will get unpacked in a Laredo warehouse, like we're sitting in right now, will get repacked into outbound trucks and tractors, and will get distributed throughout the United States. And you'll have all of the roadway networks that will spread east and west. The expansion of trade in Laredo is fueled by the surge of foreign direct investment in Mexico over the last two decades. Mattel expanded its Monterey plant into its largest manufacturing facility worldwide. Lego also operates its largest factory in Nuevo León, with plans to expand. And Tesla recently announced plans to build out a massive gigafactory in the Monterey region. And those are just a small sample of companies relocating their operations. The Mexican government said more than 400 companies have shown interest in moving production from Asia to Mexico. That translates into a surge of products funneled into logistics hubs like Laredo. If you take a 35-mile radius and place it here on this cross-border region of Laredo and Nuevo Laredo, you're going to find upwards of 500 uh, U.S. custom brokers and Mexican custom brokers firms. You're going to find more than 500 transportation companies, more than 350 logistics companies. That concentration of logistics companies means trucks, and lots of them. More than 15,000 trucks cross daily by the Port of Laredo. And this is between two bridges, the World Trade Bridge and the Colombia Bridge. The amount of trucks passing through Laredo has seen a steady increase over the last 10 years. To keep up, large infrastructure build-outs are underway. The city has already committed to expanding the World Trade Bridge from eight lanes to 16. And the rail company Canadian Pacific Kansas City 
broke ground on a project that will double the capacity of a rail bridge spanning the Rio Grande. More trade passing through Laredo also means greater demand for warehouse space. In this warehouse, thousands of auto parts are transported in and out by truck each day. Just one lot over, trucks flatten the ground to make room for even more facilities. We're adjusting to the supply and demand imbalance right now with the simple answer of just build. This site is just one example of the more than 3.8 million square feet of warehouse space under construction in Laredo. That amounts to a 28% increase in space since 2012, according to CoStar, a real estate analytics firm. But with warehouses more than 97% occupied, companies are struggling to keep up with demand. It is actually an unhealthy market because there are a lot of businesses in this market that want to grow. As manufacturing shifts south of the border, it is creating job opportunities in the U.S. That's because components for certain equipment are often made in Mexico, but need a more skilled labor force for final assembly. The automotive and the electronic will oftentimes go back and forth across the Mexico and U.S. border four, five, six times before the finished product is finally ready for the U.S. consumer. While the boom in trade between the U.S. and Mexico might mean a smaller slice of the pie for China, Executives and economists say it will still remain a dominant supplier for a vast range of goods. In the meantime, the trade passing through Laredo is projected to grow. What the numbers and data tell us is that the port of Laredo is going to keep on growing. It's just so in a league in by itself compared to other ports of entry. It's going to be hard to compete with Laredo.